Just before this video begins, I would like to thank this video's sponsor. Me! I am my sponsor. I now have merch which you can find at nats.art, along with some other cool little customizable train related goodies. So yeah, be sure to check that out. But anyway, on with the video. I am of course still in Dorset, and I am at Dorchester West Station. You can probably guess why I'm here. Not far down the road is a station called Dorchester South, and these two stations are not linked by a railway line. So it's only appropriate if we do another pointless journey. So I am filming this intro on the southbound platform. Now I could, you know, just go south to Upway and then up to Dorchester South and call it a day. But why would I do that? Let's make it interesting. Let's go northbound. Given that I've seen nothing but South Western Railway for the last three days, it'll be nice to get some uh, Great Western Railway action here instead. The Great Western Railway service to Gloucester. The train I'm on seems to be having a bit of uh, an identity crisis. Both Great Western and First Great Western. <laughs> The sun is very much in my eyes here, but oh well, we'll roll. Um, so from here, I've got two potential plans of action. I could, I've got plan A, which is to go to Yeovil, and the timing of this train actually works out pretty well because I can go all the way to Yeovil Pen Mill and then get one of the few trains a day that does Yeovil Pen Mill to Yeovil Junction and goes on the curve on a direct train. Or if for whatever reason like that gets cancelled or I'm too late to catch it, I can go all the way up to like Castle Carey or Castle Scary, um, then to like Westbury and then back down. So either or, they'll take the same amount of time overall. So I've got two different plans of action depending on what happens. You know, yeah, I'm just going to move to the other side of the train. Ah, now that's better. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Apparently we're having to be held at Maiden Newton for about 10 minutes because there's a um, delayed train going towards Weymouth and uh, yeah it's pretty much all single line so I changed the size of the train and now the sun is miraculously on this side now it turns out I'd actually forgotten about uh, Chetnol, Yetminster and Thornford I'm guessing they're uh, yeah, going through Thornford right now yeah, I'm guessing their request stops since we didn't stop there. And that's why they're not advertised. But anyway, now that we've gone through Thornford, the next actual stop is Yeovil Pen Mill. So it shouldn't be long now. Alright, Yeovil. So now, where does the service that goes to Yeovil Junction leave from. <laughs> I'm assuming it's not that platform because it wasn't on the departure screen. Yes, it is this platform. There it is up there. 1258 to... Don't say networker. As I was saying, there it is. 1258 to Yeovil Junction. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get that one. Yeovil Pen Mill is actually a really, really interesting station. You've got this single track between two platforms area, then you've also got like a large sidings bit over here, and then there's also semaphore signals. How brilliant. It said on the train too while we were pulling in, and it says over there on a sign that um, I'm pretty sure the normal way you do, you, you do going to Yeovil Junction is by a bus. There's a bus link. No, I'm going to get the train, if I have the chance. The uh, upcoming train is a two-coach SWR, so I'm going to guess it's a 158. A stagecoach livery 158. It's like a taste of home. I'd say the uh, southwestern ones are probably my favourite 158s, just because, like, these seats 
are so padded. It's wonderful. So it's a five minute trip to Yeovil Junction. Let's, uh, let's go. This is good. I wish I had more than five minutes on this train. Okay, Yeovil Junction. Very, very nice. Is that over there a heritage line platform? It looks very heritage-y. <laughs> anyway, so now that we're here, my next bit is... I forgot my itinerary again, hang on. Yeah, that's what it was. The um, 1329 to uh, Waterloo. We're gonna go to Salisbury on it. Well, I'm fairly happy that the Yeovil plan worked. Um, yeah, got a fairly uncommon little curve of track between Penn Mill and Junction. Not bad, not bad work at all. Probably gonna be at 158 or 159 again because I think it's come from Exeter, so nice. I'm ever on a Southwestern Railway refurb 159 as opposed to a Southwest Trains refurb one. Hurrah! I always associate Southwestern Railway with like, you know, the Desiro electric trains, but I always forget they still have some diesel ones and like the Exeter route and everything. It's Gillingham. Gillingham, Gillingham. I'm lucky that I've caught one of the uh, fast services and not one of the slow ones because the fast one is about 40 minutes. The slow one looks to be about an hour and a half to Salisbury. So yeah, thank goodness. All right, Tisbury that we've just left is the last stop on the uh, route before Salisbury. According to this map, both Birmingham and Plymouth are in the southeast. <laughs> Salisbury, we've made it. So the next train is a Great Western, I think, to Portsmouth Harbour that's in about 10 minutes from now. It says that the uh, train is stopping in zones three to five, but no one on the platform is stood in zones three to five. Hmm. This is... Right, so we're on this train to Southampton Central. So Atos Anne at the station did say that there was possible disruption at Fairham um, due to a trespass, but that's the stop after Southampton, so I think we should be good. So we only call it Romsey and then after that it's Southampton, but then after Southampton is the longest leg of the trip, definitely. Uh, I am facing a slight hitch here. So the train I want to get out of Southampton Central right now is running over half an hour late. So it will actually probably be quick for me to get back to Dorchester South if I get the train after that, uh, 1551 as opposed to 1524. I'll still get there about 10 minutes earlier because that's a fast one, whereas the previous one is a slow train. Well, here we go, I guess. All right, Southampton Central, we've made it. Unfortunately, though, what was meant to be a 20 minute wait is now going to be about 45 minutes, thanks to delays. I did forget, though, that Southern goes to Southampton as well. <laughs> nice little surprise. Anyway, I'll just, uh, I'll wait out to the extended time.
So it's been about 35 minutes. There's about 10 minutes until the next Weymouth service. So, yeah, uh, I'm coming onto platform four now to get it. So since I'm travelling to beyond Bournemouth on the service, I'll need to be at this end of the platform because half the train terminates at Bournemouth. All right, this should be good. The train's going to be here in a couple of minutes. Oh, um, never mind. It was only one five-coach train. Oh dear. So there's probably about uh, two trains worth of people on this one five-coach train. It's a bit busy. We're making progress. Looks like once again it's going to be mostly dark by the time I finish. Once again. And then I was passing through Morton. So the next stop is finally Dorchester South. And here we are at Dorchester South. We did it. Well, there we are. Dorchester West to Dorchester South. Complete. Another pointless journey done. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. This was not meant to take this long because of that half hour delay, but oh well, we roll. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel.